Lately, more and more flexible phone prototypes have been popping up when browsing the internet. Down here, you can see a few of those flexible phones, but can we expect to see them on the market? Now many people may think it's totally unnecessary to have flexible phones, but think about that it isn't all about bending the phone, but it's also about durability. If you take one of those flexible phones and uh, drop it, it's likely to not be damaged. And imagine if you would be able to stretch your phone to watch a video on a larger screen. Millions of dollars are spent to repair phones each year, and most usual cause is accidental drop. However, flexible phones may not only mean that the screen need to be flexible, but what is also needed is a flexible battery, as this one, a flexible speaker, as this one, and flexible electronics, as this one. So if all of those things already exist, what is the problem? It is of course the price to use so many new parts at once. A solution to that may be what we will be seeing already this year. Instead of being able to wrap a straight phone around your arm, it's likely that the first flexible phones will bend just a little increasing the durability a lot. LG and Samsung have confirmed that they are producing flexible screens, but that they have not yet revealed how flexible the whole phone will be. LG have however said that they will be releasing a product of this type in the end of 2013. It will be exciting to see what they will finally show. Samsung haven't said anything about when to release a product of this type. It was rumors about it was going to be in the S4, but those rumors show to be wrong. And now it's some new rumors about the Note 3. So let's see about that. Apple will probably not be waiting much longer than the others, as they already have a flexible interface with force detection patent. But right now, LG seems to be the one that will be first. Have you heard any more news? Or just want me to stay updated? and post a new video when I see the first release. Leave a comment, give the thumb up and subscribe. It's always fun to read your comments, so thanks for watching.